Today, we're covering Till Vacuum Do Us Part. In my opinion, she is grooming her daughter to be a skincare influencer. So let's talk about it. Quick note, I'm removing her daughter's name from this video because I do not allow the names of minors in my comment section or videos. You guys love hearing favorites and she actually has two new ones right now. Um, she has very sensitive skin and she even gets oily and so she's tried so much stuff. If you've been watching Till Vacuum do his part for a while, you have seen her do this so many times. She talks about how her daughter is a skincare snob. She researches all the ingredients in skincare, and then she always talks about the products and links the products her daughter recommends. And I believe her daughter is in middle school. This is one of her favorites right now, and I'll link these for you. But that's a favorite. She had a really hard time finding a moisturizer. In my opinion, Ashley is grooming her daughter to be a skincare influencer. When she turns a certain age, and I don't know what the age is, but whatever they find appropriate, right? Because they're holding off on this because they don't want backlash. You guys know there's an entire stop exploiting your child movement going on on social media right now. But when they think the time is right, they are going to unleash her on social media and promote her. They're already promoting her as a skincare influencer expert. Until she reaches that age, what they're doing currently, in my opinion, is they're building her reputation. They're building her a following through Ashley's following. I'm sure they're already thinking of account names and stuff like that. They are setting their daughter up to be a skincare influencer, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but I do find this interesting. She promotes her daughter all the time. She promotes the products her daughter recommends, and they're making money off of her daughter's recommendations right now. When I say they, I mean Ashley and Chase because Ashley is linking everything her daughter loves or recommends. Um, since she is a little bit oily and we tried them all and she's in love with this. And then she's got a new favorite body wash, which I tried out last night. So I'll show you that too. This is interesting to me because I believe they have found a way to make money on social media involving their child but without physically exploiting her on social media so they don't get the backlash you know i wonder if they're paying their daughter for you know doing research on these products and providing this expert <laughs> opinion on these products i mean i think she should be paid ashley promotes her daughter as a skincare guru but they're not showing her on social media. And when I say they're not showing her, I mean they're not filming her. They're not putting her in front of the camera. They used to film her. They used to include her in some Instagram content and over on YouTube, but they've pretty much stopped doing all of that, which I love. But I do find it interesting they figured out a way to still make money off their daughter without physically showing her on social media. This is the body wash that she is loving. Um, I tried it last night and it really is good. So if you have sensitive skin or you're very particular about ingredients, so is she. Um, yeah, so Ashley constantly says, my daughter is so particular about ingredients. She does all the research for skincare and she's grooming her to be a skincare influencer. After Ashley does her little sales pitch on Instagram, then she links everything. And just so you know, this is an affiliate link. Ashley did not disclose this is an affiliate link, but it definitely is because influencers very rarely share links without making money off of it, okay? Because that's their job. They want to make money off things. That's why they're sharing products. But I have a legit question. If you're an adult, and I would say Ashley's audience on Instagram is full of adults, I would assume so. Do you really want to take skincare advice from a middle school child? Ashley claims a lot of her viewers are interested in her daughter's favorite products. I think it's more believable if you're a mom who watches Ashley and you have a daughter the same age as Ashley's daughter and you're interested in skincare for your daughter. But I'm a grown woman and I would never <laughs> take skincare advice from a middle school child. I just know there's too many other good content creators out there who are older with more experience and knowledge in this field. 
So what do you guys think about this? Do you think this is smart? I mean, they're building a platform for their daughter, but they're doing it without exploiting her. They're not putting her in front of the camera. They're not making her work at this time. Maybe she works behind the scenes. You know, maybe they say, you need to research these products in order for me to link them or recommend them. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You know what I mean? And their daughter probably loves skincare. It's not hard to believe that she might really be interested in skincare. I mean, a lot of girls, a lot of women are interested in skincare, but I'm definitely interested in how this plays out. How will they transition her from never being in front of the camera to all of a sudden being in front of the camera and selling products, linking products every day like Ashley does. I'm also interested to see at what age they allow her to do this. I also think it's interesting. They have found a way to make money off of their daughter. You know, they're using her knowledge to link products so they are making money without putting her in front of the camera and without using her physically for content. Is this the new way influencers are building social media platforms for their children without putting them in front of the camera? What do you guys think about this? Let me know. Leave a comment. I will definitely follow this along and expect a future video on this for sure. At this point, with the information that I have and everything I've seen, I don't hate it but I don't love it, <laughs> you know? Like I wanna follow this along a little bit more before forming an opinion because I feel like I almost need to see how this plays out. Anyway, let me know what you think and thanks so much for watching today.